A very good morning to you, ladies and gentlemen, our viewers. Praise the name of the Lord. What a joy for us to join together in this time of devotion. And so this morning, uh, we ask the question, what drives your life? What drives you? your life what are you crazy about what what do you why do you exist what is it that you cannot compromise about i want to interest us in a man called jeremiah and very quickly let's run to jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 all the way to verse 12 if you may read with me jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 following let me read from verse 4 now the word of the lord came to me saying before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, behold, I do not know how to speak, for I am only a youth. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am only a youth. For to all to whom I send you, you shall go. And whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have set you this day over nations, over kingdoms, to pluck up and to break down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. And the word of the Lord came to me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see an almond branch. Then the Lord said to me, you have seen well, for I am watching over my word to perform it. Praise the name of the Lord. So it, I, I like it that the word of the Lord came to me. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. The Bible is not clear. The scriptures are not clear on what Jeremiah was up to. I'm hoping, I think Jeremiah was really up to nothing or whatever he was doing was not the will of God. But what we read here is that the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. It is not his idea. It is not somebody else's opinion. It is God himself speaking to him. And guess what he says? Before I formed you, I knew you. That word forming has to do with shaping. Before I put you together, everything that you are is intended of the Lord. And he says, before I formed you, I knew you. And what did I do after knowing you? I set you apart. To set apart means you are different from everybody else. So you don't have to struggle to be like others because you are known, you are special, you are set apart. Not only that, God says, I appointed you as a prophet. There is an appointment letter, okay? So before I would think about forming you, I first decided that there would be need for a prophet. And then after there is need for the office of a prophet, I now make you, Jeremiah, the prophet to come and do the work that I put aside for just you. In the world, things operate differently. In the world, you first qualify and then look for a job. Sometimes you don't find it. But in this passage, we see that God, there is a need first, and then God forms Jeremiah to meet the need. So Jeremiah is not going to look for a job because the need is already there. God has just orchestrated the plan. God has wired him to fit in that. But listen, Jeremiah's drive is not what God is calling him to do. Jeremiah's drive is actually human reasoning. He says, I do not know to speak. Because prophets are meant to talk. He also says, I am only a child. And prophets, maybe at that time, used to be very old. And so his excuses are valid. But God says, do not say you are a child. Do not say you are unable to speak because I will qualify you. You're going to say what I tell you to say. You're going to go to the people I send you to go to. So don't worry because I am with you. This morning be driven by what God has called you to do. Every instruction from the word of God, go do it. Do not be scared about your age, about your qualification, about whatever it is. If you have any fears, 
Be reminded that the Lord is with you. And what you're going to do is not just your work, your opinions. You are going to execute what God has called you to do. So pick up courage, go serve the Lord. And it says in this passage that I will watch over my word to perform it. The assurance is God will not disappoint you. He'll be with you to empower you, to qualify you so that he is glorified. So go out to first the day driven by what God has called you to do. God bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you. Thank you for today. Thank you that each one of us There is a call. There is an instruction. I pray that if there is anyone out there that is scared uh, out there, they do not know how to do it, what to say, how to say it. I pray that this morning there will be an assurance that they are not alone. You are with them. But better still that you will ensure you perform that that you have called them to do. You will empower them so you will be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Have a great day.